Hello everyone and welcome to this short video on how to use your nuclei and other summon currencies perfectly. Let's deep dive in. When you've started Tower of Fantasy and have been playing for a couple days, you might be a little overwhelmed with the number of currencies and summon banners in the game. I hope I will explain these perfectly to you so you don't feel anxiety anymore. We currently have 11 different currencies and 4.5 banners the half being one banner being split into two. Let's start with the first currency, the easy to obtain Black Nucleus. To use the nuclei, you will need to go into the special orders and select a choice weapon banner. On the bottom right, you can click on Black Nucleus Cache. On this banner, there's no pity whatsoever and the drop rates are pretty horrible. An SSR has a 0.3% chance of dropping and an SR has 3% chance so you will most likely pull an enormous amount of blue drops, ever so often a purple and very rarely a golden one. Next up is the Golden Nucleus. This is a standard banner's currency. If you just select a choice weapon in special order, you arrive in the Golden Nucleus Cache, but if you are first summoning in the Black Nucleus Cache, you will need to click the Gold Nucleus Cache button first. On this banner, you have an 80 pity counter. It does not reset when you pull an SSR earlier, which is a huge deal. If you're new and this is your very first pity counter, you will receive an SSR around the 30th pool. So you'll receive at least 2 SSR characters within your first 80 pools. The rates are okay, you're guaranteed an SR or SSR every 10 pools, an SSR has a 0.75% drop rate up to 2% and SRs have a 1% up to 12% drop rate. Every golden nucleus summon will grant you one of the third currency, the black gold. Your black gold can be spent in the weapon store in the bottom left of the choice weapon banner. You can buy a copy of each weapon you have already drawn here, even SSR weapons, but they do cost a hefty amount. SSR weapons cost 120 black gold and SR weapons cost 35 black gold apiece. But it's still an extra dupe without having to be lucky for it, I admire this. You can also buy weapon upgrade materials but I would suggest to save for the SSR dupes. Every time you pull a duplicate weapon, you will receive a fusion core that can be used to advance your weapons one star. When your weapon has six stars already and you pull another one, you will receive a black gold instead. An SR dupe will grant you one black gold, an SSR will grant you ten black gold. It says flame gold in the info page, but I think that's a typo. Moving on to the next currency, the red nucleus. These are the game's premium currency. It is only obtainable by buying them with Dark Crystals, yet another currency. Dark Crystals are obtained by opening supply pods, weekly activity and stuff like that. But if you look at another currency called Tanium, which is the currency obtained by paying real life money, you can convert Tanium into Dark Crystals at a 1 to 1 ratio as well. I'm sorry, this was a huge break to swallow. Basically, you can buy Tanium with money, convert it into Dark Crystals and buy Red Nuclei with it. But for the non whales, for my FTP crowd, you can save up your dark crystals from events and such and buy red nuclei regardless. And please, only buy red nucleus with them. But I digress. The red nucleus can be used on the rebirth of clemency banner. This name can change for subsequent banners, so let's call it the premium banner. As you can see, the premium banner also has an 80 pity counter, but sadly no soft pity at 30. The rates are exactly the same as a standard banner, but each time you get an SSR weapon, it has a 50% chance of being the rate up weapon. It's not like in Genshin that when you do not pull the premium banner weapon, the next time it's guaranteed. No, it always has 50% chance regardless how many SSRs you pull. But just like the standard banner, each time you pull, you receive flame gold. It's the same principle as black gold, but for the premium banner weapon. If you click on the limited store, you can buy this premium weapon for a whopping 120 flame gold. The premium weapon banner stays up for 3 weeks each time, and when the premium banner stops, your currently obtained flame gold will be converted to black gold. So you can just summon freely and don't mind gathering black gold, or you should commit and try to obtain 120 summons to get a guaranteed premium banner weapon. It's been a number of currencies already, but sadly we're not done yet. There are two additional banners for matrices a standard and a premium one. If you click on the choice matrices banner, you can use proof of purchase to summon on this banner. This currency is obtained through events and is not in high availability. Just like the weapon banner, it grants you an SR and SSR matrix every 10 draws and has a pity of 40 draws to give you a guaranteed SSR matrix. The rates are actually okay on this one. 
1.7% to 4.2% on SSR drops, and 7.5% to 18.5% on SR drops. The thing about this banner is that you can get a matrix from a certain character, but it still has to be the right slot. Each weapon has 4 matrix slots, so it's mostly praying for the right one. Just like the weapon banner, each pool grants you a base chip, which can be exchanged for a matrix box, but yet again, it's a box containing a random slot matrix. There's no way to get a guaranteed slot matrix when you want it. Then lastly, there's a premium matrix banner. It uses special vouchers for summoning, and just like the red nuclei, are only obtainable by buying them with dark crystals. It works exactly the same as the standard matrix banner, with the exact same rates, but with a 50% chance of being the rate up matrix. Yet again, each pool will grant you an overclock chip, which can be exchanged for the premium banner matrix, but unlike the standard banner, you can select the right slot. The standard matrix banner is a giant trap since there is no guarantee for anything whatsoever, so be careful there. Don't ever buy the proof of purchase with dark crystals, the same goes for premium ones. This is the most ridiculous whale trap I have ever seen. A free to play should never buy the currency for this banner since red nuclei are the ones to go after. So for my free to play crowd, stay away from the matrix banners and only buy red nuclei with your hard earned dark crystals. Don't let anything or anyone tell you otherwise. But for the whales, go nuts! I hope you get the pulls you need. In any case, we have gone over all currencies and all banners. I hope I have explained them well enough for you so you have a greater understanding on how to spend your in-game currency and how to summon perfectly. If I did help you out, please leave a like and leave a comment telling us your favorite pull you've had so far. Subscribe for more Tower of Fantasy content coming your way. This was Glitchy with a TOF tutorial, signing out.